is up guys welcome back we are back with some more mobile legends today we are going to do a basic tutorial on the main menu now i really didn't realize how overwhelming this can be to a new player so we're going to break some things down for you and make this a little bit more understandable for you all right we're going to start at the very top very top left i do have show touches on so you're going to be able to see where i'm touching the screen at so if you touch your icon at the very top left you'll have your basic info now this is everything you want to know about your own account you have the heroes it tells you you've received recently skins received now you can hit your account button right here and it tells you what you have connected this is where you can bind your account to facebook google play itunes whatever device you're on you can uh, you can bind it so your account is secure now you also have customer service it's going to open up that right there sorry for the way that looks and you also have frequently asked questions and options now these are the same type of options you are able to access during the game as well and you can also change your language and all other types of things now going back to this basic tab you can go right here to basic info which is the first tab you originally started on you have fight info which basically tells you an overview of how many matches you've done your win rates and etc you also have different details you can get into as well now for favorite heroes it tells you your win rates and certain matches that you've done with certain heroes your past results your credit score and you can view replays if you save them i will show you how to do that in a later video now moving back to the main menu right here at the top kind of in the middle you have a trophy right here these are your achievements now everything that you do in this game there are certain achievements for so certain kills getting you know skins owning a certain amount of heroes just depending on the different ones you can go here see which ones you have not achieved yet and the ones you have achieved yet now you need to visit this frequently when you first begin because there are rewards that you can claim right here make sure to check that often and moving back to the main menu right beside where we were just at we're going into the leaderboards this will tell you leaderboards of basically anything ranked as far as achievements victories and heroes themselves so you can check all of that out if you would like to you can also change it from global to local or you can compare between your friends now moving on right beside that part is what i call the events hall this is basically something you really need to open up every day uh, you may not notice it but it does have a red dot on there now this is going to tell you whatever weekly thing they have going and this is the main thing you want to check every day your seven day sign in event you can get some pretty cool rewards from this just for signing in every day and you get battle points so that always helps out a lot now you also can access the starlight member from here which lets you get free heroes throughout the month if you buy that and this is also where you can find the lucky box while it is still out it's basically a lottery system where you can get skins and things like that in the game now moving on to the next one is the national arena contest basically these are contests between countries that they have on a weekly basis you can check here if you want to check these games out these are streamed live as well on the mobile legends youtube page now continuing along the top you're going to have tickets tickets just recently came out uh, what they do is allow you to save them up and buy different heroes so you can basically get heroes from free just from logging in and playing the game and i'll show you where you get those here shortly now your battle points are another form of currency that you can buy heroes with and you can also use them in the shop as well to upgrade some stuff buy some things and upgrade your different abilities and right beside that is your diamonds diamonds are the hard currency for this game uh, you can see there whichever one's amount you would buy just click on it and it will appropriate the currency for you now moving over to the left side we're going to take a look at the rewards tab right here you have two chests right here a metal chest and a free chest every four hours you get a free chest so make sure you log in every four hours to get that free chest it holds up to two chests at one time so if you don't log in for a total of eight hours you can still collect two chests and then the timer will continue counting down now your metal chest is from doing battles uh, depending on what type of metal you get at the end of the game depending on how well you play that game 
you will get more points for each metal. It usually takes about two matches to get that chest and you can do that about once every 12 to 24 hours. Now below these, you're going to find it's different at times. This one is Ruby currently when we did this recording. This is just a sponsor for what they currently have new in the game. And right below that, you're going to find the world chat. This is where you can come and talk with anybody that is in public chat. You can also use a small horn to put something out in a blue highlight, or you can use a large horn and it will display it over everything. Now down below the chat, you have the prep menu. Prep menu is where your emblems are at. Emblems are what you basically get to choose a set to go into a match with, depending on what type of hero you want to play with and you use battle points and you can also use dust right there to level them up as well. Now on the left, the abilities tab right there, these are the spells that you get to take into the game. As you level up, you will acquire new spells and better spells. Uh, you can take your choice of only one spell as you go into a battle, so choose wisely. In the gear tab, the third one on the left, these are your builds for each different hero. Now you may spend a lot of time in here, or you may not. You can select which hero you would like to appropriate a build on, and this is where you can create your own or alter one that they have built for you already. Hit the change tab, and it comes up with a green circle arrow right there, and you just click on it, and you can click change. Now, if you hit OK, it changes to that piece of gear and you hit OK again and you are done. Now, if you do not like that build, you can hit change and you can reset it to the default if you would like to. Moving on to the second tab on the bottom, this is your hero tab. This lets you see every hero that is currently in the game. You can scroll through them. You can also select on them and you can scroll through them in here as well. Now, right here, you can basically sum it down to what type of hero they are if you're looking for something specific or you're just looking to find a hero a lot easier. Now the third tab on the bottom is the battle mode which you are currently in right now. This lets you select what mode you're going to be going into. Now you can hit right here on the arrows and change them or you can just tap on the middle of the screen and scroll across to the design one you want to go to. Now, some of these modes may not be available to you immediately. You have to level up to at least level seven to access some of the modes like custom mode. Now, right beside battle mode, you have bag. Your bag is going to show you anything that you have collected in the game that you have not used yet. Some of the items you can use and some of the items you can sell. Now, some of these things I will never be able to use again, so we can go ahead and sell them. Now it's only worth one point, but battle points add up over time. And the last tab on the right for this one is the shop tab. This is where you come to redeem different things. Say if you wanted to spend battle points on things right there, buy new heroes. These were the tickets where I was telling you, you could see you, but you can buy a Kai or Franco currently. Now these tickets are collected from the free chest from time to time. You can also buy skins in the shop. You can also spend your fragments here, which you've seen in my bag. And the sale, you can see what is on sale with diamonds. Now right above where we were just at in the shop, you see a lot of small buttons. Um, they do, really don't have any description to them. The first one right there is the friends tab. Now your friends tab is going to show you any and everything about friends, including if you have your Facebook synced. Now, if you have your Facebook sync, you can always access and be able to talk to your friends and invite them. And also you can add friends here. This is all your friends that you add in the game itself. A blacklist if someone doesn't, you don't want someone speaking with you. And you also have a Facebook group, which is basically every Facebook group they have in the game. So if you would like to go visit a sp certain specific country, select the correct appropriate country and you can go into it the mobile legends official channel is in english now at the bottom you can also sync your facebook friends you can invite facebook friends and you can also add a friend by id or their name and game 
capitalization in this search results do matter. So make sure you have the exact word and spelling as it shows in the game. Right beside that, you're gonna see a little guy there that is tech support. If you have any problems whatsoever, you can go there. It's basically the same thing you can access from your main menu of your basic info. And right beside that is the ML news. Uh, this is anything you wanna know about this game as far as news, upcoming things, tips, tricks, drawings, fan stuff. They also have the social platforms on here as well, so you can go to them and their different Facebook groups here as well. Now you have the Facebook like button right beside that. If you like them on Facebook, I believe they do give you 100 diamonds for free. And beside that, this is the Google Play. Now, if you're on iOS, you're more than likely going to have a Game Center sign right there. Now, right above this, you can access your friends list quickly and on the fly you can also hit the add friend button real quickly to add someone instead of having to go into the friends menu now that is it guys this is the basic tutorial for the menu if you guys want to see any more basic tutorials on anything just simplified please let me know in the comments below thank you so much for watching as always like comment and subscribe i am soul bash you guys have a nice day